All right, so we're back to uh, another project today. Something a little different, but uh, something that needs to be done, like everything I try to do on the show. So, uh, got to get to it today on fixing something that is causing problems. Been for a while, and it's mainly just because I didn't get to finish it when we originally built the garage. But that is, as you can probably guess, gutters. Um, definitely need some gutters, and here's why. I have. And this is actually dried up after a day. It rained uh, yesterday, and it's had today to dry and it's in the evening. So uh, anyway, this sometimes gets pretty big puddle-wise because the rain just comes off the eat off the roof and down, and works its way right in. So anyway, we've got a bunch of gutters, and um, I know it's not a it's too exciting of a, a job, but I I did notice when I was trying to do my homework because I was. You know, most houses, uh, the the gutters kind of hook up under the shingles, and these don't. So we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, but let's uh, let's um, let's get started. All right. Welcome to TWC Projects. So putting up gutters doesn't seem like a big deal. Um, and uh, so why make a video of it? Well, the reason I'm doing it is because when I went out to do a little homework, I couldn't quite find what I was looking for. Um, I found uh, Dax Auto, he, he put up some gutters on a metal building, but um, you know, the, ch the challenge I was having and when I was looking and doing a little bit of homework, because I've never done gutters, so I'm learning, teaching myself how to do it, I guess, like most things. I um, on, on the gutters, on, on roofs with shingles, there's often a hook that kind of goes up underneath, or there's often wood that you attach your mounts to. Well, here it's just hollow aluminum that's been wrapped a uh, fascia basic, basically around the around the. Um, let's see if we can get up here and get a closer look. And this is just hollow. So whatever I hooked to it, you know, needed to have enough screws and be the right type of mount. So I had to do a little bit of homework to figure that out, but it wasn't a big deal. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But um, anyway, I thought I'd show you putting it up just in case anybody's interested. And um, especially since, like I said, it's um, on a metal building, it can be a little bit different. And uh, then most people have, you know, traditional uh, stick frame homes with, uh, um, with a regular shingle roof or at least, uh, you know, studs. and a little bit different way of, of connecting and handling that weight. So we're going to put these up and show you how I'm doing that today. All right, let's get going. So I guess, you know, thing I should say before I begin, which maybe is obvious, but um, for people, who, well, maybe it's not obvious, right? Uh, because the, I want all the water to go off and out that way off to the end, um, eventually I'm going to put a big collector tank around on the back side and have my gutters flow out to that so I can have uh, a water reserve over there that mainly just used for washing cars, watering plants, things that I don't have to necessarily run my well um, to do to get the get the water. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you that uh, the fact that this end needs to be kind of at the very highest and it needs to slope a little bit. So it might look a little crooked when I'm done if you step way back, but um, that's intentional because I, uh, I don't want any water settling up in there, right? You want it to flow that way as much as you can. So at 40 feet, I'm not going to be able to have too much of a drop, um, but just even a slight drop will help. So that's what I'm going to shoot for. I'll start by getting my highest bracket on this end, see as high as I can get it here, and my lowest one on that end, and then I'll put a chalk line between them and mark them. And um, I've got 10 foot sections is what I did. You can buy them in, I think, 16 foot sections as well. But I did 10 foot just because it was easiest to get on the truck and there are multiples They come out to wasn't really any cheaper and uh, you know I don't have to do as much cutting because I, I need I actually need 41 feet with the six inch overhang on each side um, And I'm gonna handle that With this extra foot on the end That already has a downspout on it. So I've got four panels or four gutters that I'll put up with this plus this on the end of it And then I'll have to get they have a special kind that'll come down and kind of wrap around the back of the the back of the uh, side of the garage over there. So um, just letting you know what's going on there. So since I know I have 10 foot sections and I've got four hangers per 10 footer, what I think I'll do is um, if I come in a foot on either end, that's 
that'll end up being eight feet left divided by four it's going to be every two feet so i'll come in one foot and i'll go two foot two foot two foot two foot that's how i'll do my hangers um, all the way down so that um, hopefully i've distributed the you know the, the weight of that 10 footer pretty evenly and it'll have plenty of support that's the goalie so let's give it a shot and see what happens All right, and these are self-tapping screws, so I don't need to drill any holes. I just get them up there and wind them a little bit, and they have little teeth in the front of them they eventually cut in. In fact, I'll show you what those look like. So those are really handy. Hopefully you can see that. Just a little blade on the end of each of those screws, so it'll cut its own hole and then once it catches the teeth, it pulls it right in. So a couple things here. Um, one, I found a place to hook my uh, impact driver, which is nice. And two, I don't know if I showed you this before. I'm sure you've seen these, most people have, but if you haven't, it's just a big old magnet on the bottom of a uh, metal plate. And it's a, like a cup holder. And you just put your screws, as long as they're not aluminum, right? But uh, uh, steel screws at least metal screws stay in there just fine and then you can just hook that right to the set that right on the side of the building where you're working and I'm not climbing up and down grabbing screws all the time so a little helpful tip there hopefully um, so anyway as I said before 10 foot sections and I felt like if I broke I came in one foot from each end and then had you know, there's four of these to a package so that gives me every two feet and every two feet means that that 10 footer should end right here in the middle and um, between these two brackets so it uh, carries all the way down through and they'll, the bracket should look even not that you really notice them from the ground but um, hopefully 10 feet all the way down will do or excuse me two, every two feet all the way down will do will do the job so we'll see we'll keep trying keep going here another thing that helps you might have heard the clicking noise, but this is a great ladder because um, the ground is never level, right? So these I can just, if I pull this, it'll come up and then I just push it back down my foot to get it to the right height. So you'll notice uneven ground makes it real nice. Uh, and some ladders, they only have these on one side, which I don't really understand because you really need them on both sides. You may not have them on both ends, but you'll have them on both sides. So, and this is just a, this is called a little giant leveler is the one that has the, the feet they make little giants that aren't leveler so um and of course you know these just adjust and go up and down and this particular ladder i think goes up to i think goes up to 22 feet i think they make a smaller one that goes up to 17 feet but i use it all the time feel very safe on it it's very handy so thought i'd share that with you as well since uh that's kind of a big important part of this job for sure as far as being safe so let's keep going All right, so even though I got my math wrong on uh, spreading out, I was thinking I was gonna have four brackets per 10 footer. Um, it does say right on the instructions, which I put a, probably should have read, if you can read that, use every 24 inches. So I accidentally got it right. Um, I just need to buy some more brackets and that's good because I don't wanna have to take these down and move them again. Um, but that's, uh, that should be the proper, I guess, uh, distance to handle the weight of whatever the capacity of these things are. These are five inch gutters. So we'll keep going. I accidentally got it right. I'll take that. So next I've got to put these little end pieces on. And of course, uh, make sure, you know, they sell these in like Home Depot. I think is where I got these. They sell them in five inch and six inch. So make sure you get the right size. Uh, and there's a right and a left. So make sure you get the, the end pieces correct too. So we're gonna um, get these on here. And uh, we just need to put some put the cement down in the end so that it helps seal it 
and then we'll, we'll get that on. And then we'll also put a, uh, a junction point, or a junction piece. As well. So and these come with two to a pack. I hope. I thought it said two. Yep, two. Yeah, they go on the outside. And I was worried that there was one one on the inside, one one on the outside, but you just do one on the outside. And it even comes with its own um, a sealer as well. So that's kind of nice. So I'll put a little on one side here, get it on, and then do the other side, and we'll put the ends in once we've got them lined up. But I just wanted to show you that as well. Figuring out all the parts is kind of the trick to this thing, I think. But uh, once you know what you want to do and the kind of parts you can use, then um, not too bad. In fact, I used the, the Home Depot app and just kind of, once I figured out what I needed, I put them all in a basket and was able to go right in and get them. So that worked nicely, but all right. All right, so we're just starting out with a dry fit to make sure everything goes in before I put the cement on it. Um, and I actually, I need to go get the clamps too. I've got these uh, crimpers that will help me clamp these in tight. Once the glue is in there to help it stay in place. And um, yeah, you know, of course, sometimes, like I said, you want to do a dry fit because these things can get kind of bent. Um, they're so uh, light, lightweight, super light. These are aluminum, by the way. I guess I should have said that too. They make vinyl ones as well. Um, but I wanted to stick with the aluminum because everything on the building is metal. Um, and I felt like the aluminum ones were going to be a little bit easier to handle and manage. So we'll see. But uh, that's what we're doing. So let me show you something here, a little helpful hint. Make sure you don't put the back of the bracket all the way flush up to the uh, bottom of the roof because um, you need to be able to get that hook up in there. So I'll show you. You'll see in this one it's going to be a little tricky too. So i got to kind of get that up in there first. I feel like I got a little high with this one already. There we go. So that's in there, and then bring this guy up and locks in there. So hopefully these hold up well. I might end up putting more screws than I did. I only put two in each. I probably should be putting four in each. I just was afraid I didn't have enough screws. I've got to go back up and get more, so. going through that second layer. going through the piece that I should not have bent. Oh, not very well though. And then it's not going through into the metal of the building. So I may need to go get my bigger screws. These little ones just aren't tapping it. All right, took a little bit of work, um, but I got the, the stupid things in there. And uh, I shouldn't have bent the other piece back because it it just uh, got in the way. I was gonna, thought I could crimp it, but then there's no way I can get up in there because of the overhang. So but we've got two screws on here. We've got plenty of cement up inside. Let's put a little bit more in the crack just to make sure. And I've got all my hooks up on up here. I'll keep putting a few more on here. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get much further tonight. Sun's going down, I've gotta eat dinner, but uh, we'll get right back to it as soon as we can. Pick up where we left off. All right, so I'm back at it. Um, second day of this project since I ran out of daylight and time last time. 
but we're basically just uh, putting up gutters still, so um, hangers specifically. So I'll keep putting up. I bought some more because I was a little short, and we'll put up. Uh, you know, I've got my chalk line up there, and I'll keep uh, putting those up, and then I'll slide. This gutter's like kind of just slipped underneath the other ones. So it doesn't look right right now, but once I pull it through and connect them. And, do the last one out through here and then the little end piece um we good so let's get back to it So I don't know if you can see it or not, but um, it's like this beautiful blue sunny sky day and it's raining out while I'm out here working on the, uh, on the gutter. So I don't know, there was no call for rain today, not even a 1% chance of rain, but here it is, it's coming down. So just a light sprinkle, it feel, actually feels nice. It's so hot out here, but how bizarre is that? No call for rain until 10 a.m. tomorrow, but got a passing shower. Anyway, I guess it's a good thing I'm getting gutters up, put up, so. Uh, well, let me wrap this video up. I've, uh, I've got just another connection to do here, and then I've got the end pieces to do, and I've got to go buy them, so. Uh, I may still try to finish this thing today. We'll see, but uh, I thought I'd at least try to stop the video here. I wanted to thank you for joining me on TWC Projects. I uh, hope this has been interesting. You've gotten a chance to see how to hang gutters on a metal building. I, I don't know if there's other videos out there. I couldn't find uh, anyone I was looking for them prob probably a year ago or last year. And uh, so I figured I'd make one. And that's what we did today uh, and yesterday. And maybe end up doing a little bit of it tomorrow if it's not raining tomorrow. So. Uh, Anyway, I'll wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Um, get out there, continue to fix things, create things, enjoy God's creation all around you, even when it's a sunny, rainy day. And uh, stay well. Until next time, um, keep at it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.